With Election Day less than a month away, Governor Glenn Youngkin's Political Action Committee is launching a new ad campaign on abortion. The campaign attempts to characterize Democrats as extreme on the issue, and Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander has more on this. The 32nd ad attempts to paint Republicans as more in touch with Virginia voters on abortion rights. But one political analyst says the ad could backfire. Here's the truth. There is no ban. Virginia Republicans support a reasonable 15-week limit with exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. A new $1.4 million ad buy from Governor Glenn Youngkin's Political Action Committee is trying to change the narrative on abortion rights. It comes after a recent poll revealed 53% of Virginians say the Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe v. Wade will be a major factor in deciding who they vote for this November. Larry Sabato is the director of the University of Virginia's Center for Politics. The Republicans have learned they can't avoid abortion because it is the hottest issue out there in this off-off year at least. Democrats have warned if Republicans win the majority in both General Assembly chambers, they'll ban abortion. Republicans say that's not true. Rather, they favor a 15-week limit when they say a fetus can feel pain. They're airing an inoculation ad. That is, before the rush of uh, pro-choice and anti-Republican advertising hits the airwaves in the rest of October and early November, they want to get their two cents in on this issue. With a poll from the University of Mary Washington showing 57% of Virginians want abortions legal in all or most cases, Sabato says the ad may backfire on Republicans. They're really bringing to the voters' attention the fact that they want to ban abortion at a particular point. It's going to activate a lot more pro-choice voters who may not have been intending to vote in an off-off-year legislative election. It's important to note that Virginia is the only state in the South that hasn't passed further restrictions on abortion since Roe v. Wade was overturned. At the state capitol, I'm Tyler Englander.